Hi, it's Steve Zesney here, and just going to do a video test on the Sony Ericsson Neo. <clears throat> just going to give you a brief tour around it, and then I'm just going to run a couple of tests on it as well. And um, first of all, it has a four, sorry, 3.7 inch um, capacitive touchscreen. It is LED, LCD, sorry, LED backlit. Um, the resolution is 480 by 854 um, and it's from, it has a Sony Ericsson Bravia engine if that money really does anything and um, down here you have the physical key buttons return, home and menu Sorry. yeah menu uh, up here you have the built in webcam some sensors, light sensors and then just the speaker the earpiece part and down here <coughs> you have the 3.5 mm headphone jack you have a USB port and a mini HMI port as well to your just like the, the protected by cases which pull off and on the back of the phone as you can see HD Xperia is an 8 megapixel camera with a bit of it in flash or LED light and then just the uh, Sony Ericsson logo and plastic ease of this and then you have the speaker grill here and to this side here you have the camera button function for taking videos, pictures, uh, volume, thing, just volume and uh, stuff like that the power and lock button on the other side you have the, the button here it's just a mic for when you're speaking. And yeah, <coughs> so I'm just gonna move along with this now. And first of all, I'm gonna just lock the phone. Just like to unlock. And first of all, I think I'll just run the benchmark. All the stuff which I have here can be found in the Android market for free. And first one is that I'm gonna run is a quadrant standard benchmark test. We are going to run the full benchmark. This has one single processor. It's a Snapdragon, one gigahertz. So it's not dual core, so it will take a little bit. It's a lot more slower, that's not dual. So. I know sometimes when you first run the benchmark it's a bit more slower and if you run it again second time it's a bit more fast and you get a bit better result. You want to proceed? Yes. Okay, then the final score is 1536. Pretty good, I guess. It's on top. It's just on the Nexus. Nexus one. Okay, I'm going to press the return key, and then I'm just going to run the benchmark again. <coughs> sometimes you might get a higher score if you run a second time, and then again, sometimes it's a lower result. So there is different benchmarks you can download. Um, on the Android market, I downloaded a different one now, and um, I'll run that one afterwards as well.
and the score this time is 1695. So it was a bit better than last time, so yeah. Back to the home. Okay, I'm gonna run another benchmark, and this time it's called uh, Caffeine Mark. It's free on Android, as I said. Caffeine Mark benchmark. Never heard of it before today, so I just decided to download it and just run it for a lot. <coughs> it's recommended that you use your Wi Fi when you're doing this. Because when it's. Um, wants to proceed on to the other results like compared to other benchmark results it's better just to have the Wi-Fi on to that. See so I don't know what it's even doing or running what benchmark it's running on. <coughs> I've never heard it before so yeah caffeine mark benchmark. <laughs> The overall score it's six two four two two star rating rank one on four. Okay, we're gonna publish please wait. Let's see what happens when you press publish. Nineteen benchmark, let's get burnt. <coughs> okay, don't click that. Uh, yeah, that's the base video. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope to make more videos soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, comments, for your response, whatever. See you guys next time.